is buying jewelry as an investment good? It really depends on your intention of buying the jewelry in the first place. If you have the intention from the very beginning to buy a specific gold, watch, jewelry, ganon, you plan to sell it when the price goes up, then it is considered to be a financial investment. Why? Because you are able to convert your capital into bigger money. But if you're going to buy a jewelry, and then even if the price goes up, you're not going to sell it, then it is not considered to be a financial investment. Masarap lang siya sa conversation na, hala, I was able to buy this particular uh, watch or gold at let's say 100,000 pesos. Ngayon, ang value niya 150,000 pesos na. Okay, okay, that's a good thing to know. But, are you going to convert it into cash? If hindi, hindi mo pa rin siya consider as a financial investment. Masarap lang siya pakinggan. If this applies to stocks, because in stocks, REITs, mutual funds, meron tayong tinatawag na unrealized profit and loss. Meron din tayong tinatawag na realized profit and loss. So yung unrealized is, if you see that your value of your stocks, investments go up, unrealized ang tawag nun. The moment you convert it, you sell it, kasi nga, na-profit ka na, that's what you call realized profit. In fact, I had a conversation with a friend recently. He had a watch. He bought it at 675,000 pesos. This was a Rolex Sea Dweller. He had a friend. Sinabihan siya, I'm going to buy your watch, that particular watch, 1 million pesos right now. So try to imagine that is a profit of 325,000 pesos. Did he sell it? No. Why? Ang logic niya ganito. If he's going to sell his sea dweller at that price, 1 million pesos, yes, he gets the money for 325,000 pesos. But the thing is, yung mindset niya, I will no longer get a sea dweller at 675,000 peso value. So mawala sa kanya yung asset. Because he's going to convert the asset, which is the watch, into cash. In that conversation, 325,000 is unrealized profit. May nag-offer sa kanya, hindi niya binenta. It's the same thing with gold. It's the same thing with any investments. Ang exemption lang nito is real estate. Why? Ang real estate, when you purchase it, umakyat yung value niya, but you don't want to sell it. What you can do is collateralize that particular property to the bank. You can get money from the bank and use it for business expansion, but pag once you pay it off, you still own the property. Buying jewelry gold as an investment, it really depends if you have the intention to sell it or not.